download, unzip, and open this file. Once you have this file, notice that these are groups, so you can ungroup each one of the drawers. Now, this is what I'm going to show you. Under RhinoCam, open up the MIL program. And under Utilities, you have the possibility to explode a cabinet design. So I am going to choose everything that I see on my Rhino. I want to array and notice that if you hover, you can have a preview of how Rhino Cam is going to lay out all these pieces. I want this possibility and I want to have a 96, eight feet by four feet. It's more or less 2.4 meters by 1.2 meters. So I want to be able to tell RhinoCam that if it reaches 80 or maybe, maybe 86 inches in the X direction to go up one road more. The spacing in between the pieces is going to be half an inch, 0.5. And I only want 2D parts. I don't want 3D geometry. I want only 2D parts because those are the ones that we are going to send to the nesting program. Create the geometry in a new layer and hide the original geometry. Let's hit OK. And voila. This is so cool. Thank you, RhinoCam. Now you can go away and you have all the geometry. I can go to the default layer, create somewhere 996 by 48 there, open up my nesting program through shape, select my curve, select all the parts, press enter. You can select whether to rotate them 90 degrees or not. It's up to you. Mirror parts, perfect. Parameters, I do not want to tag. The distance in between parts is 0.5 from the edge of my uh, stock is one inch. I Let's estimate it. Update and run it. And there you go. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So now you know how to take advantage of those two possibilities, RhinoCam and RhinoCam nesting.